Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video and no, it's not a vlog. Today is going to be a little bit different. I decided to sit down with my friend Tempest and we discussed our dating experiences. So after sitting down with her for an episode of The Rent Is Due, which please go check out if you haven't already, she dropped some major gems, which I absolutely love. I decided after that interview to actually sit down with her again and talk about our dating experiences. So we discuss everything from dating apps to red flags and even more. Um, I enjoy the video and I hope you enjoy it as well. The purpose of this video is to get more insight on our girl chats. And I made you this more often depending on how you guys like it. So please comment below and let me know your dating experiences or if you have any funny stories, anything of that nature, please comment below and let me know. Also like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Peace. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Hold up. This is Tempest. Tempest. And we are going to talk about life. We're going to talk about dating. Yes. So my first question is like, what do you prefer? Dating apps or like meeting them in person face to face? Dating apps to me are a little bit more impersonal, mm -hmm. which can be a good thing, especially if you're not really trying to commit right. to anything. But I actually prefer meeting people in person. I actually think that, mm -hmm. you know, it gives you a little bit more, a better vibe. Sometimes people can lie online. True. Um, people can make up these facades and mm -hmm. these personalities that they aren't. Um, and so I think maybe dating apps is a little bit tricky. Um, so yeah, dating like in the, person. Dating in, is yes. there been an experience where you were like, oh my God, this is it. This is the one that you met in person. <laughs> no. no? Okay. Um, I think I've got a better vibe, okay. I would say, gotcha. of a person. Um, and they got a better idea of who I am because mm. I can be kind of, um, I guess hidden online. And so in person, I feel like people get to know me a little bit better. I'm a little bit more animated. People tend to say that, oh, you seem much more cool in person than you did online. I was like, hey, okay. Nope. Um, <laughs> but then at the same time, you know, it was good because, okay, well, maybe it wasn't supposed to be, you know, that person right. online. Maybe, you know, meeting in person was what we're supposed to do because um, in that way you can get to know me as a person and not just my profile. So, I like dating apps, I guess, because I'm not, I haven't, I don't go out enough to be like, what's the vibe here? Right. Um, yeah, I just, I'm too awkward. I think that's why <laughs> dating apps work for me. What do you say at a bar? Like, how do you, how do you pick I, up? I actually don't say anything. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. So, one of the things that I've done when I met the one person I did meet at the bar uh -huh. um, was eye contact. You know, oh. I don't have to say any. I don't necessarily have to say anything to a person or a guy anyway for, to get his attention. Like oh. if he's, I'm looking at him. He's not looking back. Then clearly he's not interested. He right, may, right. you know, focus on something else. So okay, fine. Uh, but this situation, the dude was actually interested. I thought he was cute, and so I did like these kind of little one glance type situations, Ooh. you know. And so eventually he walked over, and I was like, okay, cool. I don't know. I've never approached a guy before so it's it was a different situation at mm -hmm. the bar i kind of didn't know how to do it right so i just kind of did what i felt was comfortable which was of course you know kind of the, the um indirect flirtation kind of thing uh so he came up and it was great and we had a nice i mean it was a great conversation he's mm -hmm. very intelligent everything like that so uh it was a good experience of mm -hmm. course i'm not dating him right now but it was a good yeah. i think it was just something that you know i did and i'm like okay i did that like right. an experience that i've had like i can honestly say i've done that before and so i'm a little bit more comfortable with doing it now gotcha so awesome you'll get there you'll be like <laughs> oh my there. god girl <laughs> let, let me tell you me. i gave him the eyes and you know it was a saying? whole thing <laughs> the whole situation have you used dating apps before? i have yes has there do you have a favorite one? Oh my gosh <laughs> i have a i have the worst oh. one <laughs> Okay, what's your worst? Um, what's your worst okay, one? Cupid. Like, what? Oh my God! That? Yes, that's terrible. It's trash. It's it's it, trash. It's awful. Don't ever do don't. it. I, okay, I won't say don't ever do it. I would say do it with the understanding that eighty percent. Oh no, 
90, 95% <laughs> of the men on that app are trash individuals. And when I say trash individuals, I would say they are not ready for commitment. Mm -hmm. They're not even ready to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Like they are just so not it. And I'm just going to go ahead and apologize to every man who has an okay Cupid account and actually uses it because sis, it, it wasn't it, okay? Okay Cupid for me was really overwhelming because it was just like so many messages <laughs> at once. <laughs> And it hey, was a lot of beautiful. like, like, hey, beautiful, my queen. Somebody like wrote me a poem, which I'm pretty sure he wrote for like a whole, a whole bunch of other people. Of so that like got canceled after like a day or two. I was like, that's nah, I'm not. Too much. That's too much. Um, my favorite dating app, I would say, would be Hinge. And also, people yeah. never heard of that one. That's exclusive. But that one is not. It's not <laughs> the exclusive one. That one's trash too. Oh, the exclusive never mind. One. Um, but Hinge is great because um, it wasn't like I came on a filter, all these guys, and then if you don't find a match in the filter, then I'm going to go ahead and throw some other people in there. Like, no. Right. It was, okay, you want to meet people in your city that are Christians, that have a 9 to 5, that don't have children, that don't smoke and drink. You know, you can really, Crazy. really, really narrow it down to um, a particular personality, a particular type of guy. I am on Coffee Meets Bagel. Oh, hi. I've tried that one. Um... I went to my friend's blog and she was going through um, like dating apps and Coffee Meets Bagel seems like the safest one. Right. Or the less creepy one. Right. Um, and I've met some nice people on there, but um, <clears throat> I'm learning like red flags and like what I like and what I don't like. Like right. I'll sit on a date and be like, okay, this is not going to work. Like I already know yes. this is not going to work. Not like, this conversation is really, it's taking a, a left turn and yes. I don't know why. I don't, like realize that like a lot of people, when you ask them questions, they're like taken aback. Like, why are we, this is not an interview. And I'm like, it's just a question. I'm trying to get to know you. Like that's the yeah. point in this date. Is, like, like what do you want us to talk about? What are we supposed to talk about? Just random. So, like, I feel like the conversation will flow, but if I ask a question, then like, why are you like, Oh my god, like what is she doing? That is <laughs> weird. What's your worst experience on either of those apps? Oh jeez. I would definitely say I had a really, really bad experience on Tinder. Oh, ooh. Um, so of course we know what Tinder is for. Yeah. Right? So, um, of course I'm trying to like change lives and stuff. It's like, hey, well you're trying to have sex, but I'm not. And I'm going to show you that that's not a good thing. So I went on a date with this guy. Um, we ended up going to get like wings or something after work or whatever. Um, we were chatting and everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was great. Yeah. You know, it, we had chemistry. It was cool. So the second day, we ended up um, hitting up Buffalo Wild Wings. I don't know what this wing thing was. <laughs> um, but we ended up going to Buffalo Wild Wings. And um, we met up and everything was fine until the check came. Oh, no. So we're sitting at the table and the waitress comes by. She's like, hi, um, one or two checks. And, you know, we're agreed. One. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So right. we're not going Dutch. Someone's going to pay for this food. Right. <laughs> So the check comes and it's sitting on the table. So he says, he has a, a rule that on the second date, the female pays for the food. Wait, when was the first date? So the first date was going to get the wings. The first date was, okay, after work, we're going to get some wings, fine. I think he paid for my, he paid for my food the first date, which was fine. Oh, okay. No I see what deal. you're saying. Okay. But the second, see the wings is tripping you up. So the wings thing, the second time I went to Buffalo Wild oh, okay. Wings, yeah, this is right, when right. The wings is, he's like the okay. check, he doesn't want to pay. So we can split it. You know, I'm being right. reasonable. Right. Okay. I don't go with you. You don't go with me. I don't right. owe you nothing. You don't owe me nothing. So I can wait for my little $10 wings to carry my ass back to right. wherever I was at and you can do the same. You know, I'm just kind of had this mindset like, okay, what is your problem? You don't have no money. Right. But is he not paying because he's not, like, he didn't enjoy the date? Right. Because either way, you ate. Right. You ate, you drank, you enjoyed the food. So you what need happened? to pay. I, I, it, to me, it just, it just was not making sense. Right. And you know, the Tuesday wings are cheap. Right. Like, I think they're like, what, 50 cents or something? I'm like, okay, bro, like, <laughs> what's the argument? It's $10 wing, but I didn't want to insult him. Right. So did you know what? Ma'am, here's the money. Like, pay here. Because this, I can't do. Right. I'm not going to argue with you about no money. I'm much, like, look, I can afford to pay for me and you. So what? Right. I mean, you know, it's just kind of one of those, like, okay, I work too. Like, I don't understand. Then you have to text me after. What do you want? You got food out the deal. <laughs> now, I did not mind paying for my own, which I stated prior to the check coming. <laughs> so why is it that now the check is here, you want to start tripping? Wait, what did he text you afterwards? I, like, are you okay or some what? shit? No, I'm not okay. I'm not. <laughs> 
If you if you cannot pay for your own food, do not go out. Period. <laughs> you could even say, you know what? Never mind. We'll go ahead and split that bill. He couldn't even do that. Like, nah, I'm sorry. He just wasn't gonna pay. Like he was just like, I refuse. I refuse. I mean, I don't know what you're gonna do, but I'm gonna go ahead and let you pay for this food. That's that's bad. I have not experienced that. I hope I don't have to experience that. That's terrible. Not trash. Um, that just scares me more. Like I don't know if I want to do. that I would either. say <laughs> that is like a one in a million type situation. Gotcha. Like most men or most people that I've been out with are not like that. Yeah. Like normally if they ain't got it, okay, let's go to the park. Let's find right. something, you know, creative to right. that doesn't let's cost do free. money. Yeah. But yeah, that that's like very rare. Gotcha. In my opinion, for someone to be that like that, yeah.